Well, hey, it's Lynn Brown. Welcome to the Gritty Women Global Podcast, episode 113. I'm super glad you're here. Now, let me just go ahead and tell you, I'm a results coach, but prior to that, I was a world-class people pleaser. I literally was trapped by the opinions of others. It was honestly more like living in a mental prison. <laughs> and then like, one day I just, I got sick and tired of being sick and tired. Anybody out there know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but it was that day that I drew a line in the sand and and I bet on me. I'm talking about bet on me for the very first time in my whole life. And I'm not telling you since that day that my life is perfect and that there have not been, you know, obstacles and there continue to be obstacles. That's just that's just part of life. But I've discovered that that life is not happening it's not happening to me anymore. It's happening for me. And when I literally changed the way that I looked at everything, changed the way I looked at my circumstances, when I did that, everything began to change. Uh, there's a quote from Wayne Dyer that says that. When you change the way that you look at things, the things that you look at change. And that truly, that truly began to happen for me. And it can happen for you too. So the last couple of weeks... Um, I've, I've thought about Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. It's honestly, I mean, I'm not, it's neither here nor there. It's, it's not like that's one of my all-time favorite movies in the world. I do love a lot of the, the symbolism in it, and, and I love a lot of the lessons that come from it. But, but, but Dorothy's really been on my mind lately because, you know, I really feel like that gritty sister, she could have been home so much sooner. And, and I guess the part about it I don't like is that, honestly, I could relate to her in, in a lot of ways because I, I did the same thing in my life, honestly, for about the first half of my life. I, I really believe that all the solutions to my, to my problems as, as I saw them, the obstacles in my life, I believe that all of the answers were out there somewhere. That, that it was almost like somebody else was holding the key to my freedom. And, and yes, I'm a person of faith. So, so honestly, in in the area of faith, I know that 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 Jesus, you know, is the one that sets us all free, and He paid the price to set us free. I I, I got that part, but I was not free. How about that? So, so I chased after my freedom. I I, I look for it in relationships, in people. I mean, I searched the world. I looked at it through, you know, through alcohol and through relationships, through attention, through the praises of man and, and the praises of women, but honestly, mostly the praises of men. I, I, I got a lot of attention from men and somehow I thought that if I got into, you know, that right relationship or whatever, that all my, my issues would be solved and I would be happy and, you know, and honestly, I just wanted to... To be loved, but honestly, I think more than loved by anybody else first, I wanted to love myself, and I didn't. I didn't value who I was because I didn't believe in my worth. I didn't believe that I was capable and worthy. I didn't believe I was chosen. I didn't believe I was known. I, be I didn't believe I was loved and redeemed and accepted. Honestly, I felt like that maybe the day God was handing all those things out, that somehow maybe I was in a different room, or maybe I wasn't paying attention and I missed mine. I don't know. <laughs> But you know what? God doesn't make mistakes. <laughs> and so we all have everything we need. But, I, but I, I, I've had this emptiness inside of me that I tried so desperately for the world to fill, but it just wouldn't fill me. And, and, and I could not walk in freedom until I began to see my value. And it, it, wasn't, it wasn't that constant pursuit. Like a lot of times you see people that are you know, full of confidence and, and they know the call in their life. It wasn't because they, they were, they, be, it wasn't because I believed I was created for more, but it, I believed that I was not enough. At that point in my life, I didn't really believe I was made for more. So I, I had convinced myself that, that somehow, you know, I was not equipped, but here's the thing, you know, that, that, that little desire of your heart, that itch, that thing that won't go away, that thing that you want to do, that very thing, that didn't just pop out of the blue. That doesn't just come out of a Cracker Jack box or, 
just, you know, out of a fortune cookie. That That is from created in you, in your mind, in your heart, from your creator. And I believe that when God gives you that dream, that he also gives you the directions for it. You, When he lays it on your heart, he equips you at that moment. So you're already equipped to bring that that thing, whatever your thing is, into being, that desire, that dream. And when you believe with all your heart that you're valued, that you are worth it, then you will begin to step into your truth. You will walk in the identity of your creator. Instead of, your, instead of setting, you know, like your mind on the things of the world you're and the, on the opinions of others. I don't know if any of you are out there like me, but like I was, but set it on him. And, and I, I totally believe with all my heart, that that Dorothy could have cut her sh trip short <laughs> down that yellow brick road if she'd only set her mind on, you know, her the affections, set her affections above. If, if we have to live and serve and exist for an audience of one, it is then and only then that we will find our true freedom. The one that created us, the one that created you, seek his attention. You know, I finally got tired of clicking my heels together and hoping and wishing and begging God to change my life. And, and I made a decision. I, and, and it was when I, when I decided. And I, and not just decided. Because you have to take action. I had to decide that I want a different life. And I had to take action. This, this podcast is a perfect example of that. I mean. Just like we've mentioned before, there are, there are 43 million podcasts. I could have easily said, you know, oh, I, I don't know what I'm doing. And I could have played small. I could have just rationalized my way out of recording podcast number one. But I knew that there was more for me. And, and you know what? There's more for you. And maybe it's not a podcast, but, but there's someone right now. I promise you this. There's somebody out there right now on this big blue rock waiting on you to step into the call God has placed on your life. Just recently, I got a, a message from somebody that listened to my podcast, I, and 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 they were so blessed by it, and that was such a blessing to me. And I'm not telling you that to impress you anything about me. It's not that, but to impress upon you that somebody's waiting to hear your voice. They're waiting, and it's going to take a gritty mindset, sister. It's going to. I'm telling you, it's going to take persistence. We hear about that all the time, but more than persistence, it's going to take consistency. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter what the thing is. I'm part of a company right now. and We're brand new. We're seven months old. And we're in that building phase. And, and, and it takes daily, consistent work. And yes, I might have to miss a few things. And yes, I might have to work when, you know, other people are going, you know, you know, to whatever, the beach or the movies or going out to dinner or whatever. And I might have to sacrifice a few things. And I might have to pick up the phone when I don't want to. Yes, sometimes I have to call people that make me nervous. I mean, I call my, you know, my chicken list. I call the people that want to make me, you know, throw up. But it's not that they're gross. It's just that I'm nervous about calling them. But that's okay. Because everything that we want and desire is going to be far removed from anything that's comfortable. I doubt the cross was very comfortable. The road to the cross, the journey to the cross was not comfortable. I started um, going to a gym three weeks ago. I finally, it finally hit me one day. I was like, God, you know, God placed a gym like a half a mile from my house. And so I thought, okay, I get the hint. I get the hint. Having a healthy, strong core is important for me. If I want to, if I want to do all the things that God is calling me to do, I got to be strong and healthy. Without that, I have nothing anyway. And that's a whole other day. But y'all, I'm telling you, this wellness thing is is important. And just because you're not sick doesn't mean you can't be healthier. I would encourage you to reach out to me, give me a call. But um, anyway, so I started started this gym, and um, it was so interesting too because the name of our the team members in our company are called Champions, and I walked into the gym, and of course it's called Champion Fitness, which I think is so cool. The shirts say Champions on them. And y'all, the girls there are stronger than me. They are younger than me. They are they are bigger, faster, and stronger than me. But you know what? My vision of walk and health wellness 
health and wellness is bigger than any fear that would hold me back from walking in there. And it, and it took me a little bit, uh, you know, it took me some guts to go in there that first time. I was a little nervous, but I did it. So I'm three weeks in. I'm not saying, you know, that I'm ready to, you know, take on Rocky Balboa or anything, but, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling more confident. I'm feeling more confident. So let's, let's think about where we are right now in 2021. I can remember 2020 thinking, oh, we just wanted 2020 to be over. And I bet there's some people thinking, mm, 2021 hadn't served us up everything we wanted either. But there's 70 days left in 2021. I don't know about you, but it's been a tremendous year of growth for me. But, but where do you want to be personally? December 31st. You know, what are, what are you you know, personally willing to take responsibility for on December 31st. Well, let me just encourage you, y'all. We only, I mean, even if we just improve 1% every day, that's huge. And and it's really not about, you know, who is, is better than us and who's doing better than us, who's doing more than us, blah, blah, blah. This is a you and you deal. And, and let me go ahead and say this too. It's okay to be scared. It's okay. It's okay. Because you know what? Anything is possible. If, if you have enough nerve, anything is possible. I was just talking to one of my um, teammates today about that. And we're like, you know what? I am so confident in what I do in the call of my life. And even confident in the product that I have because I've seen the results in my own life. That I'm not afraid to offer it to anybody. So what about you? What are you offering to the world? What do you believe in so much? What are you so just convinced of without a shadow of a doubt that you got to share with the world? So, so let's just decide this today. I mean, I, I think it's important that we, that we don't just listen to this podcast and just move on to the next one, listen to another one and go about our day. But what is one thing you could work on between now and the end of the year? We have about 70 days-ish. I don't know. It might be. It's about 70, I think. So, so what, what is it? What is going to be your thing? I promise you this. Your future self will thank you for it. If you go ahead now and get a jump start on 2022... And you go into 2022 bigger, faster, and stronger in whatever area that is for you. Maybe it's your mindset. Maybe it's creating a new um, habit, a new belief. Rather than focusing on the things that you don't like about you, focus on the things that you do great. How about that? Let's just focus on becoming better at what we do. And let me add this. I want to strongly, I want I really do want to encourage you to do this. I want you to at least somewhere in the area of wellness. Move it to the top of your list. Maybe top three. Doesn't have to be number one. Now, right now, it's number one in my book. Number one in my book. I'm going to lean into that for, you know, definitely the next 70 days and, and beyond. And so, if, if that's part of you, you know, where you are, and I don't, usually this time of year is when I begin to drift and move into the eating, you know, the bags of candy corn and stuff and pack on another seven or, you know, five or seven pounds for the holidays and then start over in January. I'm not doing that this year. I'm, I'm going to release 10 more pounds before the end of this year and I'm going to move into 2022, you know, like I said, bigger, faster, stronger. So this is important because I know, because every day I'm reading, I'm seeing, I'm hearing people are calling me, people are messaging me or you see it on, you know, social media, whatever. Somebody's saying something. Either they're not sleeping or they're stressed. Or you overhear, you know, your friends talking at the gym or wherever, at the pizza place, that their jeans, you know, aren't fitting or whatever. Or they're tired. Tired, tired, tired. Busy, stressed. That's what I hear over and over over. I can't get over this cold that I have. Whatever it is. So, I will say this. If you want information on, on our products, your, your Worth It products, um... Just the five seconds, it's an anti-inflammatory and a powerful antioxidant. And we're seeing huge testimonials, and I can send you info on that. But um, So call me about that if, if you're interested, or if you want to just check it out, you can go to yourworthit.com. That's you are worth it.com backslash Lynn Brown, and that's L-Y-N-N-E Brown. 
So call me if I can help you all out with that. And remember, gritty is the new pretty. Gritty is the new strong. And you, my gritty sister, you've got this. You can do it. If I can do this, you can too. I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care and make it a gritty day.